Yo what is up guys it's me Blast and today I am back with a different kind of video. Uh, today I will be showing you guys how to find Pokemons and capture them in Pokemon Go on Android and iOS. So Pokemon Go released not worldwide but in some countries only but I managed to get it in India by downloading the APK file from some website I do not remember the link will be down in the description. So yeah let's get started. So the first thing you need to make sure is that you have a pretty good internet connection. After you have made sure of that switch on your GPS because Pokemon Go uses it to pinpoint your location and then you need to walk around like in real world to find Pokemons. So yeah to find them just get around to walking. Now you would see there's a Poke sensor kind of thing down at the right hand side corner. Yeah so you can see there are some Pokemons like the Wally. What is that? Polywag, sorry, yeah, the Polywag and uh, a Duodo and a silhouette of a Tentacool. Yeah, so the Pokemons that have been registered in your Pokedex will appear colored, whereas those who are not registered will appear like kind of black in the sil like their silhouette will appear. So yeah, the Pokemons will have around three, two, or one paw in front of them. That means that shows the distance how far you are away from them. So if there are three paws, you're quite far away. If two, you're closer. If one, you're very close. And if zero paws, the Pokemon just might show up any time right now. So yeah, uh, now as you can see, the Poke sensor kind of thing is like the paws are reducing in number. And as soon as the paw becomes zero, we see a tentacle appear on our screen right here. Now you can just tap on the tentacle and then use your pokeball to capture it. Now hold down on your pokeball and wait for the green circle to be at its smallest and then flick it at the pokemon so that it has the highest probability of catching the pokemon. Now after you've done that uh, it will capture the pokemon and stuff and then it will go down it will like shake for a bit of time like around 3 times if it does not if it goes for more than three times the pokemon might actually come out it does happen guys like it happened once to me so yeah after you've done that you have got the pokemon now you can go to your pokedex and find the pokemon and you know the duplicates one more thing like i haven't seen a lot of people doing this but the duplicates can be sold or like transferred to dr willow for the duplicate candies not duplicate candies say for example if you have a lot of doodos you can transfer them to dr willow by tapping on them and click on transfer and then you can get duodo candies which you can use to evolve or power up your pokemon so that is it i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did please be sure to leave a like do comment and do subscribe and i'll see you guys next time